Welcome to IELTS Academy 9. I'm Yusri, and in this video we will learn how to use all the seven negative prefixes in English. And actually prefixes are essential to learn as they help you gain a lot of vocabulary in a short time. So please watch the video till the end as there will be an interesting exercise to practice using all the negative prefixes. Now let's get started. First, you should know what a prefix is. A prefix is a group of letters added to the beginning of a word to change its meaning. So for example, a word like happy, when we add the prefix un, it turns to the opposite meaning which is unhappy. Another thing that you should know is that prefixes don't follow rules. We learn them by practice. So now let's start with the first prefix none, which means not. None comes with some words such as nonsense, which means stupid or silly, non-stop, direct or without interruptions, non-smoker, someone who doesn't smoke, and non-stick, for a pen that has a non-stick surface, it prevents food from sticking and burning. Un means not as well, and it comes with words such as unhealthy, not good for your health, unclean, which means dirty, unable, someone who cannot do something, uncomfortable, which means when you don't feel okay or relaxed. Im also means not, and it comes with words such as impossible, cannot happen, impolite, which means rude, impatient, easily annoyed or cannot wait, immature, behaving in a childish way. And here you can notice that im comes with words that begin with p or m. But remember there are always exceptions. A word such as married takes the prefix an, so the opposite is unmarried. Popular also takes the prefix un, and the opposite is unpopular. The prefix in come with words such as insane, which means mentally ill or unreasonable, insecure, which means not confident about yourself, inactive, doing nothing, incorrect, means wrong. Air also means not, and it comes with words such as irrational, which means lacking reason or logic, irregular, not according to rules, irrelevant, not related to the topic or of point, and irresponsible, which means to be careless about the results of the actions taken. And here air comes with words that begin with are. However, a word like reliable takes the prefix un, and the opposite is unreliable. Respect takes the prefix this, and the opposite is disrespect. Ill also is a negative prefix, and it comes with words such as illegal, not allowed by law, illogical, not reasonable or wise, illiterate, unable to read and write, and illegitimate, which means not legal or unfair. Remember the exceptions. A word like loyal takes the prefix this, and the opposite is disloyal. The last prefix here is this, and it comes with words such as disorganized, which means badly planned or messy, dishonest, misleading or cheating, disrespect, lack of respect, and dissatisfied, which means not pleased. Attention, please. Sometimes one word takes more than one prefix. For example, the adjective able. When we add this, it means a physical disability, someone who's disabled, someone who is in a wheelchair, for example. But unable means someone who cannot do something. When I say I'm unable to drive, means I cannot drive. The verb cover, when we add this, it means to find something, like walking on the street and you discover something. Uncover means to discover, but you have to remove something, like to discover something which was hidden. This example is very important because the prefix here doesn't only change the meaning, but it also changes the form. Dislike is a verb which means having a strong hate towards something. For example, I dislike math. Unlike is a preposition which means different or not similar. So for example, I say, unlike my brother, I dislike math. And this means I'm different from my brother. He likes math, but I don't. The last example here is the word secure. Insecure means not to feel confident when we speak about our inner insecurities. But unsecure means not safe and it's used more with software programs. Now it's time to practice. And here is a short exercise, and I want you to pause the video and think about the prefixes that you should add to each word. 
and here are my answers. That's all for this video. I hope you find it useful. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to watch all my new videos.